What's up, San Antonio? I'm DJ Mighty Iris, and this is the first episode of Wrong Side of the Tracks. This is the spot where your local music lives, breathes, rocks your socks off, comes all over your face. Speaking of coming all over your face, I'm here with uh, the Matt cunt. Hole. <laughs> I'm here with the Matt Hole from Peach Fish. Hello. This is Matt. All right, so my first question for you is... No questions, please. No, shut up. Who is Peach Fish? Like, who is all in your group? Well, that would be me and Dirkish, John Harris. Um, he is a dubstep DJ, and I am a musician slash artist slash mic bender, stuff like that. Very cool. And he, uh, you guys, oh, you're from San Antonio, and he is from... He's from Pensacola, Florida, or hell, I'm not really sure. <laughs> one, one of the two. I think I met him a few times. He's very um, handsome. But I haven't seen you uh, perform with him yet, but hopefully one of these You're days. missing out. You should really go check out the shows. It's different. I've been to two of your shows already, yeah. and they were good. They're really good. If you haven't seen him perform yet, shame on you. You should go. He's a really good performing it's true. person. Um, okay, so where did Peach Fish get its name? The name. Yeah, where the name That's come interesting. from. Um, actually, I got the name from a Bill Hicks stand-up comedy show. And I love Bill Hicks. And um, he was talking about um, jailbait, vagina. Ah, uh, yes. And he was also talking about, <laughs> about um, you know, other things. And he talks about George Michael and some other <laughs> stuff like that. And he has a whole thing where he just says, Peach Fish! Oh, nice. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. And that's where you got the name from? Yeah, because Peach Fish is uh, kind of like an innuendo. Okay. I don't know if you know that yet. Do you know what Peach Fish means? No, I don't. Take a wild guess. I don't even think I know what innuendo means. Do you need a dictionary? I might. Do we have a dictionary, guys? Shut up. What, what does it mean? What does Peach Fish our... mean? <laughs> Just tell me. Peach Fish? <clears throat> yeah. Um, it is actually um, a term used for... Uh, it's. Vagina? Yeah, pretty oh, much. Okay. The, the most delicious, moist vagina. Not just any vagina. Nice, nice. Very cool. All right. Um, okay, you, so. Are you uncomfortable talking about no, vagina? No, I'm not uncomfortable talking about vagina. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm not at all. <clears throat> um, uh, wait a minute, you got your arrow right this time. <laughs> I did. I, That's I good. redirected it the other way. So, That's next question. Said, huh? <laughs> Which artist gave you your first eargasm? Which was your first, oh. the first artist that just, you know. That is a Pop really, really... cherry. Oh, it was Boys to Men. Really? It really was. Very cool. That's no bullshit. I know a lot of people are probably laughing right now, but it's... <laughs> I was going to get something totally different. Yeah, I know. You probably would. What age were you? Do you remember? I was eight. Really? Mm -hmm. What song was it? Uh... <laughs> so one of those, like, Water Runs Dry kind of songs? No, it was... <laughs> Let me think. Well, it was the entire album. It was my first cassette. Ah, uh, I had so. that cassette. Or I had the one with Water Runs Dry. Do y'all remember cassettes? I do. I don't think anybody does. I do. I totally do. So it was Voice to Men. That's awesome. How old are you? I'm 28. You I keep telling you. over 22. Shut You're up. Lying. How old are you? The, I think he's 30 or something. questions, please? Oh, God. Talk to my manager about that. Okay, so I've, I've listened to a lot of your songs. I've even mixed them at my gigs. I DJ. I'm a That's DJ. That's bullshit. I don't believe you. I do, and you were there. No, um, it wasn't me. But uh, they sound really sexual, and I was wondering how, how much does sex influence the music that you come up with? It's a cute question. Thank you. Iris. Thank you. You're making Answer me the question. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I'm a very sexual person. Um, it was a big thing for me, you know, sex sells. Mm -hmm. It's a big thing for me, to, you know, to get out of the whole rock mentality of everything. And I really wanted to, to get some dance music and, and everything. And I feel like, you know, dancing, sex, it sells. It's, everybody loves it. If you don't like sex, you're fucking weird. I don't know. So actually having sex influences the, the lyrics to a lot of your songs? Lyrics, maybe not so much the lyrics, but definitely the beat and the grooves. Okay. The lyrics are all based on, um, you know, problems that I've had with myself in the past. Okay. Things that I need to work out. All right. So say you haven't had sex in like a few months or something, maybe a few weeks. Do you, do you find it, um, does it get hard like to come up with lyrics or music I, for, you, you know, know? You're very Peach young, and I like you a lot, but I, I will not have sex with you, Iris. I'm not asking you to have sex with me. <laughs> that that was a good question, and now you're not answering it, because... Well, can you repeat the question? Okay. If you haven't had sex in a while... Hold on. This is weird. 
try. A lot of people write their music based on sex, like what they're feeling, you know, during sex. At least that's what I get out of it, hearing certain people's music. Does, and does my my music make you feel sexy? Your music makes a lot of people people feel sexy. I think. Um, is, that, is that true? Is that a, that's I think a bold so. statement? No, no, no. When I was at your first show at Oak Hills Tavern, there were two people. Well, one person came up to me and said, "His music is so sexy," and she was kind of drunk already. And I was like, "It is. Who it's was very this sexy. person? I want her number. I, I, I don't. Can, I'm not going to tell you. You sure? And you another that? person that was with me that night said, "Yeah, that dude's definitely going to get laid tonight." Oh, really? I yep. did not get laid. Actually, it was the exact opposite. It was awful. Okay. But um, yeah. So, okay. Sex is a big part of it. I mean. Um, like I said, I'm a very sexual person. Okay. Um, it uh, it interests me, you know. It's something that that um, it makes my heart beat. It makes the pulse grow. Mm -hmm. Makes everything work out. Sex is we're mammals. Yeah. That's how it works. And uh, I played in a lot of bands in my life, and nothing was sexy about any of them. Okay. And it was a big part of Peachfish. It's a You're huge in a rock part. band, right? Before. I've, I've been in a couple rock okay. bands. So this is the first time you've strayed away from the rock and gone into electronic stuff? Not the first time. Stuff. I mean, I've, I've done electronics my <clears throat> whole entire life. I mean, one of the first bands that I was in was, it was like 2007, 2008. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was all electronic. Oh, okay. Well, there was live, live stuff in it and analog stuff too, but that was when I was veering into the uh, Radio Shack computers and messing with stuff then. Okay. And you, you're with a record label, aren't you? I am with Electronic Boy Records. I'm Very signed. cool. And when did you get signed? <sighs> it was uh, 2012, I, uh, October, somewhere around there. I had the record and I used to work at Guitar Center. One of my customers was very interested in everything that I had to do. Hmm. And he supported the band that I was in during the time. Um, came through, helped us out. He helped me out a lot, Tim. He's a great man. Love you, Tim. Peace. <laughs> um, yeah, and he, um, you know, gave me the opportunity. I, I sent him a record, and he was surprised to see what I could do. He really thought. He, I think he thought that I was like into metal and like rock only. Yeah. And after he gave me the opportunity, I just kind of like, you know, waited a little bit. Sent him a record. His voicemail was. It made me cry. It was amazing, the, the kind words that he had to say, and um, yeah, and we continue to work together. I hope that we can work together on other stuff, too. He has, right. he has some pretty cool stuff, too. It's, his name's Tim Fury, and if you guys go check it out, he's got some great stuff going on. Electronic Boy Records? Yeah. And you have, uh, all your songs are on iTunes <clears throat> right now? Everything's on iTunes. You can okay. go to iTunes and just search Suicide Girl, Peach Fish. It's the first record that I put out. Um, it's a heartache a lot of stuff that I went through. It's a very good record though, I have to say. I, I've heard it, so. Um, also, when you perform live, um, tell everybody about like like <laughs> everything that goes on, because it's a really good show whenever you perform. There's a lot well, of a visual lot of people stuff. don't understand what I do. Um, <clears throat> I started off as a musician, and music was one of the best things, you know, that I've ever, ever discovered. And then I learned, you know, computers and working with um, projectors. I'm a projectionist, and uh, <clears throat> I decided to research and figure out how to make visuals and make things cool, make things, um, you know, available to people to see. And um, I learned about this thing, it's called projection mapping, and basically it's using light as an instrument and bending images on structures and surfaces and atmospheres, and um, it's a visual performance. If you like LSD, you should probably I love LSD. You guys like LSD, right? I do. And DMT. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I'm totally down for that. I don't know what that is, but I'll, I'll ask you after this. Um, okay, so enough with this. Really? I have a oh, surprise boy. question for you. <clears throat> okay, first question comes from Mike Dexter from Huntington Hills High, writes, Whoa. Dear Matt Hole from Peachfish, if you could open for any artist, who would it be? Um, I would go with how to destroy angels because right. we have a very similar setup um, we're using the same program same software um, it's pretty advanced it's technical stuff visuals trip people out you know. very cool what was the name of the band again 
How to Destroy Angels. How to Destroy Angels. That's Trent Reznor's. Oh, that's wife. right. Yeah, I haven't listened to a lot of it, but yeah, you very don't cool. really, <laughs> you don't really get around much, do you? I don't. I live in a cave, and I like it that way. You throw stuff uh -huh. around it. One more, oh, one more question. One yeah. more question. You got some shit up your sleeve. This is from John Bender from Shermer, Illinois. Uh, sure sounds Shermer like High John School. Brown to me. Shut up. Shut up. Um, if a butterface got together with a butterfinger. What do you think they would name their firstborn child? Iris. Fuck me. All right, this interview's over. Really? It's over. <laughs> yeah, let's take this shot and get this over with. I like you. Shut up. Cheers. <laughs> to Peach Fish. Like his page on uh, Facebook.